Hello, everyone. Yes, it is me, JM Poop here. This is kind of a face reveal, I guess. Uh, but not just that, but... Uh, well, I've, I have thought of a face reveal for a while, but I mean... Uh, I thought I might as well do one this year. Uh, topic of today's video today is... How well has 2023 been? In my opinion. Uh, not just for in life, but also for this channel. Uh, video Game Jam Poop. So... Um, a lot of things happened in 2023, we can guarantee that. Uh, quite, um, a shady year, if you would say. Not like 2022, unlike that year. That was just mental, I gotta say. But, um, the thing about 2023 is, is that it's been... Slightly better than 2022, even though 2022 was kind of like a quiet year for me. Like, just in general. Like, uh, not just in, like, my educational side in college and all that, but also uh, just in most cities in general. Probably because the coronavirus or COVID-19 was still happening in, in like, mid-2022 era. But it's all changed now. It's now loud again, and all that, I gotta say. Uh, but yes, 2023, been wild. Especially for social media. A lot of platform changes. Twitter is now X, thanks to Elon Musk, naughty boy. Uh, tons, a crap ton of apology videos, <laughs> including that worst one from Colleen, someone, I forgot her last name now, but almost everyone knows that. We've even had a couple, like, recently as well, I don't know why, but it's just life, I guess. And not just apology videos, but... But just a crap ton of other things, like other controversies. Well, not a lot, but I mean, still. But overall, aside from, like, uh, 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 occasional controversies or bad things happening in life in 2023, it's been quite well. It's been quite well for this channel. I'll go on that later, but... First, I would like to say the games and the movies we got. Phenomenon. Absolutely. Great titles we got uh, a lot of games of the year you could say um, that I got excited for as well um, uh, even though some I've not ever played or played ever and don't have but I mean the ones I got very interested in the most are uh, the Resident Evil 4 remake that was uh, that looks quite good um, and, uh, what others? Uh, I can't remember now. I guess Spider-Man 2 looks good. Um, it's been, like, uh, about five years since the original 2018 one for PS4 came out, uh, for Spider-Man. Um, uh, and then three years for Miles Morales. Uh, um, and all that. Uh, and then, for th and then we have a couple from Nintendo, of course, because Nintendo's, like, the biggest one. We had, uh, Pikmin 4. Absolutely great game. Um, even though I've never played through it, I've only played like first couple half of the first stage. Quite good, uh, Pikmin Four, and uh, uh, along with uh, others from Nintendo, uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe, a uh, great port of the Wii original. I, I quite like that, and uh, Super Mario RPG Remake. I bet everyone was like cheering loudly when they first saw that, I bet you, uh, because almost everyone likes Super Mario RPG from 996, the original Super Nintendo title. And I'd say the biggest one for me on the Switch is Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Has to be. Um, when I first saw the trailer, I was like, wow, that, that looks fucking amazing. Yeah. And uh, the idea of Mario and, and his... Uh, company turning into an elephant. Wild Nintendo, wild. Um, and now for the movies that came out. I've watched a shit ton of movies this year in Cineworld. Um, and i got to say, 
a lot of them are good. Some, all right. Not, I wouldn't say none of them were necessarily bad, but I mean, um, but I gotta say, obviously, the Super Mario Bros. movie is absolutely brilliant. I like that movie so much. It's probably maybe not the best movie of this year, but it's definitely the best video game based movie of that year. Uh, and there were like, and there's like three more after that: Resident Evil, Death Island. I like, I liked that as well, even though that was not in cinemas. Uh, Gran Turismo was quite good, uh, the live action film, and even Five Nights at Freddy's. Despite negative reviews, I still quite enjoyed it, even though I've never really played the Five Nights at Freddy's games. But I still know, I still knew what they were like and all that. Uh, because one of my friends is literally obsessed with FNAF. Literally. <laughs> like, every time I used to be in school, he'll be like, Oh yeah, FNAF, FNAF, this, 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 all this shit. Yes, I know, I get it, dude. But, yeah. So I pretty much knew about it, but I still liked the film, even though it had negative reviews. But, still... But yeah, the, the, those are the video game adaptions, um, uh, and I've watched plenty of new movies that came out in 2023, not counting old films that got re-released for like uh, anniversaries or um, just like 4K restorations or anything, not not including those. I've watched plenty of those as well, but in Cineworld, but I mean, um, plenty of new ones I liked, um, I'd say... Um, um, Quite liked. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of uh, movies now. Um, I liked the new Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Volume Three uh, uh, for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's uh, quite good. I've not watched a lot of um, Marvel films, but I mean, uh, as far as I can see, I, I liked the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy series, um, especially the third one. The third one is absolutely brilliant um, uh, for this from this year, and uh, it's quite good. I also liked um, the new Indiana Jones. It's been a while since we got a new one. Uh, since 2008 is when we got the last one, which was Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and that one was absolutely kind of shit. But, but Dial of Destiny, it, it's all right. It's, it's not bad, but I mean, it's still all right. Um, I'd say it's slightly better than Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, but I mean, but not as good as like the first three, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, and uh, The Last Crusade. Um, uh, I'd say Temple of Doom is my favourite still, but I mean, that was back in 84, on a leap year, but I mean, yeah, I, I quite like the new Indiana Jones film. Um, I also liked uh, Transformers, Rise of the Beast. Um, that was quite a good movie as well. Um, uh, probably not as good as, like, the other ones, uh, uh, the other ones, but I mean, uh, probably not as good as Bumblebee as well, back in 2018, but uh, I'd say that was a good film as well. Um, other great movies, um, uh, um, this one, uh, just blew my mind, and I'd say it, uh, this one is really good, Strays, uh, it's about talking dogs, yeah, that is a brilliant movie, it's like, um, a bit like crude humour and all there, it's really good, uh, Strays, uh, 2023, uh, Voice uh, Will Ferrell and Jamie Foxx, voices of the two do main dogs, brilliant. Uh, I, I absolutely like Shrey's. It's kind of really good. And then the main three in September are probably one of my favourites of this year. Uh, those being Rise of the Foot Soldier Vengeance, uh, which is the sixth instalment of the Rise of the Foot Soldier series starring Craig Fairbrass. And then the one I like the most, I'm pretty sure most of you know this, the Expendables 4. It just is. I know, uh, fuck all the negative reviews, I don't care about all that. I just like The Expendables 4. And I like Sylvester Stallone as well. He is my favourite actor. He is awesome. And he is good. He's a good man. Brilliant. And then the other film in September is obviously Saw 10, or Saw X, as some people say, but I like to call it Saw 10 because, well, it's the 10th installment, but <laughs> that one was quite wild, uh, actually. But yeah, uh, those films were kind of good. Um, and then in October, uh, there wasn't really a lot I've seen in October for new ones. I've seen a lot of old ones, but I mean, 
another one. This is a great one. Some Otherhood. I liked. I, I kind of like that film. Uh, Some Otherhood. Um, it's a sequel to Another Hood uh, from 2011, which is inspired by Kid Hood, Adult Hood, and Shank, all of which star Adam Deacon. Uh, and uh, and he stars in this new Some Other Hood as well. Uh, like, if you've seen the trailer for that, it's wild. Um, I liked the part where Ed Sheeran appears, you know, the singer. Um, that, one, that part was wild. It's very hilarious, and I was laughing a lot in the cinema there. But... <laughs> But yeah, you can get the point of some other hood is kind of good. It's really amazing. Um, and then after that, um, I didn't really enjoy The Exorcist Believer too much, but because uh, uh, it's not as good as the original from 1973, uh, The Exorcist, but uh, but it is definitely better than the other sequels, uh, Exorcist 2, Exorcist 3, and it's definitely better than the two shit prequels that are literally an embarrassing wet fart. Those being um, uh, Exorcist the Beginning and Dominion prequels of Exorcist. Absolutely shit. <laughs> Absolutely. But Believer is way better than those. Uh, and then... Um, oh, I kind of forgot what I watched now uh, after all that. Um, yeah, I think it's mostly old films that have been re-released. Uh, I, I've not really watched a lot of new ones. I think those are the last of the new... new no ones. Uh, oh wait, no, no, no. Actually, no. Um, November was a good year as well. Thanksgiving. That's a great film. Um, I liked that film. Uh, it, it's from the same director as Hostel, Eli Roth. <laughs> so I knew it was going to be like gory and all that. Uh, even though I've never seen Hostel or Hostel Part Two, but yeah. I also liked uh, the new Hunger Games, um, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. That was a good installment as well uh, uh, of the Hunger Games. Uh, kind of uh, great. Uh, what, are, what other films have I seen uh, that are oh, new? No, uh, I can't remember now. Um, oh, I can't remember now. Uh, I think that was about it for the new ones. Most of the other old films were uh, uh, that I've seen uh, are just old ones being re-released. Uh, that's about it. But yeah, I gotta say, I'd say the best, uh, I'd say my favourite film of this year has to be The Expendables 4, literally. Because I just like, I, I just like the whole action series alone, the Expendables series, the first one's amazing, second one's good, third one's okay, fourth one is brilliant, I gotta say. Though not as good as the first two, but I mean, still good, and it's still Sylvester Stallone, after all. He is a great actor. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> and I've literally watched a lot of his films this year as well. Even his very first one, which is porn. But I'm not going to explain more of that because of YouTube's guidelines. But okay. But yes. Obviously, I've not seen all of them. But I mean, uh, most of them, pretty much. Um, and now, this channel. My channel right here. Which is Video Game Jay and Poop. We've been very comedic this year, I gotta say. So, first off, first off, um, uh, I bet some of you are probably gonna complain to me about the whole Galaxy Bar situation and all that, how my Super Mario Galaxy 1 and Super Mario Galaxy 2 Let's Plays or playthroughs how I ate Galaxy Bars, I did actually eat Galaxy Bars during uh, those videos, I can guarantee you, but uh, I, I've got no proof to show it, uh, only an image uh, that I made on a community post, and one of my Galaxy 2 videos, but, but yes, um, so the, what I did was, was very stupid, but every time I had, uh, let's say, I was in college, right, and I and I leave college for the day because it's because uh, it's the end of the day for college and all that. I, whether it's the morning or the afternoon, it depends on the days. And um, I, I take my ass to uh, Poundland, uh, which is a shop. So uh, that's where and I buy like five to ten Galaxy bars a day. Yeah. A greedy, greedy boy I am, yeah. But, 
With that, it gives me an advantage of eating a, a Galaxy Bar every video. Or maybe not eating every video, but at least have something Galaxy related in my mouth. Um, so not just the eating the chocolate, but also the milkshake as well, because there's also Galaxy Milkshake. Uh, so, yeah, and th they're quite good as well. And um, that is how my Galaxy Let's Plays have been. Uh, and, I've, and I've been to Pal Lound a lot quite since late March and early April, I'd say. I think mid-April as well, because uh, I was still doing my Galaxy 2 Let's Play then. Because uh, those videos uh, were finished in late April, but I released them in May. So so I stopped going to shops too much myself. But it was pretty much the only time I bought food for myself quite a lot. Uh, not counting, like, uh, going to, like, Greg's and that for dinner and all that. Or uh, uh, all shit like that. But, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I'd say Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 Let's Plays have to be the most comedic of me this year because of the whole galaxy bar situation and it is literally fucked up <laughs> and and i think i did gain weight during it as well during those videos but i think i did lose a lot lately even though i don't do too much exercise too much but i mean don't worry i've not got diabetes don't worry i'm not gonna die in front of you or will i <laughs> no just kidding i'm not <laughs> okay but but yes, um, that uh, that was the whole galaxy situation. Um, I don't know if I'll do that again in the future. I uh, with other games galaxy related, like if I did like any Guardians of the Galaxy based games, I don't know, or uh, or even better, like uh, Sega's Galaxy Force series, which is like an arcade series. I think there's only like two titles, Galaxy Force and Galaxy Force Two. I think, I don't know, because the galaxy's in the title, so I don't know, I might have to <laughs> eat fucking galaxy again, but I don't know, but... But yeah, I'd say Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 have to be my most comedic playthroughs of this year because of the whole galaxy bar situation and all that. And the fact that, well, maybe, maybe not, um, well, the, I mean, it, that is eating chocolate related, but I mean... There were other times where I was, like, very hilarious as well. Um, i got to say I was um, very hilarious in my Mario & Luigi series when I played those games, especially Partners in Time, um, where um, there were a couple of times I kept shouting a lot and and I was cheering that I'd beaten the final boss with no cheats because I had to beat it with cheats the last time I first played it back in 2020. Because it was so fucking hard. So, yeah, it was that hard. And I was on the Japanese version as well. Uh, but that doesn't help. It, it's not the text. It's literally the difficulty of the fight. So, yeah. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's the leveling ups that I had when I used my first save file. I don't know. But, yeah. My Bowser's Inside Story playthrough, though. A different story, kind of. Because that was even funnier. Because every time I refer to Bowser's belly, I always say belly button. Because I like to always say belly button whenever I think of people's bellies. So, I always say the belly buttons, even though I'm not talking about the button part that you can push for no goddamn reason. But, I mean, <laughs> still. Uh, there's that. And, um... Uh, my other comedic colleagues, I gotta say, I enjoyed... Uh, when I was still 17 at least, because um, I turned 18 this year, uh, lucky me, so I'm now, I'm now an adult. Uh, when I was 17, I, I think the the games I did uh, I enjoyed the most um, were like the last ones I did, uh, what, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Uh, not the last one I did when I was 17, but the, the last one I released when I was 17, so... Um, I've got to say, that was quite comedic as well. I, I kind of... I, I absolutely liked that playthrough. Uh, my Conquest Path Third Day videos. Uh, they're absolutely great. Because um, uh, it's been, like, about three years since I've played Conquest Path Third Day on... Uh, of the rare replay I was on um, when I first played it. I've never fully finished it on Nintendo 64 uh, because it's quite expensive and I need to get a copy one day, but I don't have the money, so... Don't. So why don't you fucking get it for me? But, uh, yeah. And, um... And then the last ones I actually did when I was 17, but 
I released them after my birthday, um, were the movie-based games and Bonanza Bros. So the movie-based games were, of course, Cliffhanger, Last Action Hero, and Dirty Harry. Uh, I can say my my Cliffhanger playthrough went well, uh, surprisingly, even though I've never played it before, uh, until that video, of course. And... Um, uh, mostly because I was familiar with the movie, uh, you know, the Sylvester Stallone movie, because uh, it's Sylvester Stallone, obviously, and um, it's just absolutely brilliant. Uh, the movie itself is brilliant from 1993. It turns 30, it's 30 years old now. I'm surprised that's not been re-released in cinemas. It's a shame, but yeah, I quite liked that playthrough, and um, my last action hero one didn't really go well, though. Like. Because it was that difficult, and I kept struggling on one of the levels, I was in there for 20 minutes. And it wasn't until, like, 30 minutes into the video where I'm finally on a new level. <laughs> yeah, you see what I mean? And then my Dirty Harry one, I had to just use a password to skip the first level, because it's so damn long. <laughs> and if you watched Angry Video Game Nerds video on... The Dirty Harry NES game. Uh, you'll probably you probably know that as well. So you'll probably know it from there as well. So yeah. And then Bonanza Bros was the last video I did when I was seventeen. The last game I played when I was. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it was. Yeah, and um, that one quite, went quite well. It, I think it was the first Sega game, uh, not counting Mega Man The Wily Wars or Mega Man Game Gear because they're technically Capcom games, but they were on Sega systems, uh, but pretty much the first Sega made game I've played on the channel. Not played any Sonic games yet, I do plan to do Sonic in 2024, so keep an eye on that. Um, I'll explain more in a moment. And, um, and then when I turned 18, I, I immediately started uh, well, I was going to start my Let's Play of Resident Evil 5, but my capture card uh, cable decided to fuck up and break. So that's when I did Super Smash Bros. Nintendo 64 instead. That was the first videos I did when I turned 18. Uh, so then after that is when I did Resident Evil 5 uh, through my Xbox One X. Uh, so, yeah. And that one went quite well, my Resident Evil 5 playthrough. I uh, my Resident Evil 4 playthrough that was earlier in January went well as well, i got to say. Uh, but uh, along with quite uh, a few other games I did. Uh, mostly Mario games, but I mean, still. And, uh, yeah, Resident Evil 5 went very well. Uh, even did the DLCs, uh, which was quite good as well. Um, and then after that... Um, and then... And then, obviously, I did a couple of other random games. Well, uh, another Super Mario Bros. Wii. Uh, that, that playthrough went quite comedic to me as well, because of me screaming a lot, because I've never played it before. I kept blaming Scowo for things. Uh, well, uh, not, like, in real life. Like, I, I, like, he's not a bad person, Scowo. He's a great hacker, to be fair, because he's the creator of another su uh, Super Mario Bros. Wii. He's even one of the... Um, He's, a, he's like one of the members of newer team as well, you know, for newer Super Mario Bros. Wii. Uh, 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 and all that shit, but I mean... But yeah, he's a great hacker. Um, uh, kind of a good Let's Player as well, who does not do commentary, but, but puts text on his videos. Uh, quite good. And um, uh, and even the unreleased sequel as well, uh, another Super Mario Bros. 2, which is a hack of new Super Mario Bros. on the DS from 2006, rather than... Uh, Nissan Wii or Nissan 2, but yeah, and I also decided to replay Holiday Special and Summer Sun because they are quite good uh, new Super Mario Bros. Wii hacks, uh, definitely, the, even though Holiday Special is Christmas themed and uh, I filmed, I recorded it when it was not Christmas, but I don't give a fuck at all, uh, and Summer Sun was also good as well, and then starting like, I think 30th of August, or is, or is it 31st? I can't remember if there was 31 days in August. Um, but the last day of August is when I started my Resident Evil 6 Let's Play. And Resident Evil 6 has to be the longest set of videos that I've done this year, because it is a damn long game. It has to be. It's even longer than um, Resident Evil 5, i got to say. Uh, I'd say it's even longer than Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, because 
Uh, and possibly Resident Evil Village as well, but... Uh, I've never played Village, so I don't know, but... But I have played 7 before, and... Uh, mostly because the story is long. You have four campaigns, which are different character campaigns, which are different. And, uh, and, and I decided to make it so... Um, uh, one chapter uh, uh, per character means one video, so that means, uh, and including the tutorial, so that's uh, so there's five chapters in, uh, of per character, so that means five videos for each character, so that makes twenty, and then plus the tutorial means twenty one videos this year for just one game, literally. Like, sure, my, another Super Mario Bros., we had a lot of videos as well, but that's a bit different because they're shorter videos. They're, like, 20 minutes to half an hour. Resident Evil 6 ranges from half an hour to one hour. They're technically, like, movies, I can guarantee you. But, yeah. So, yeah, that's what my Resident Evil 6 Let's Play was like, i got to say. I decided to replay Luigi's Mansion as well again, because Luigi's Mansion is fantastic, i got to say that. Um, but only this time I decided to do the NTSC hitter mansion, and I chose the, the reason I chose the Japanese version and not the American version is because not many people seem to know about the Japanese version, uh, unless they looked it up on the cutting room floor or looked at one of Beta64's videos or Andrew 64 videos because it was on that channel, not Beta 64 videos. But I mean, um, uh, when he talks about how the PAL version is better, he mentioned he discusses the Japanese version quite a bit, but not too much. So that's why I decided to do the Japanese version because there's quite a lot more differences than the American version. Uh, mostly glitch fixes in the uh, American version. But aside from those, nothing else has really changed. Not no like art style has been altered or anything. But I mean, anything like that uh, through the usual localization bullshit. But I mean, uh, then November. Uh, I can't remember what I've done in November now. Uh, I can't remember now. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I decided to do the new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe challenges. Uh, with one, I had to use the Wii U version because, obviously, for one of them, because uh, the boost mode, it's only in the Wii U version. It's not in the Switch version because it's designed for two people. Second of all, I had no friend to do it with, so I did it all by myself. Yeah, legitimately. I did all... Well, I've never finished the one of the other challenges, but I mean... Uh, I did manage to um, finish... Uh, most challenges, uh, the boost mode challenges, by myself. All without a little friend at all. Yeah, I, 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 am, I am very stupid, but I mean, it's a stupid idea, but I mean, uh, come on, uh, there's no one else to join me yet, so. And when I do get people to join me, I'll probably make, like, multiplayer videos in the future, but I mean... Uh, and possibly play some multiplayer games like Legend of Zelda Four Swords and all that, but I mean, uh, that's a sort of story that I'll discuss later on. But um, when it comes to the challenges, my one-up one is quite the shortest one because obviously I didn't realise there was going to be that much challenges and how easy they were. So yeah, that one's kind of a weird one. Then after that is when I did the last game that I decided to do this year, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Yeah, for the Nintendo Wii. And believe it or not, I actually, the first video, the character test, the Smash testing character video that I did for like the other two Smash games, Smash 64 and Melee as well. I did Melee in 2017, but released those videos in 2020, but... Um... That video I actually recorded in August, not November or December or October. None of those months. And the reason for that is because uh, by one of the days in October, I was still trying to be ready for Resident Evil 6, but my copy still hadn't arrived. So in the meantime, I decided to record something I could do for a future project. And that project turned out to be Super Smash Bros. Brawl. 
which I've only done the first video for. I've not done more videos until, like, October time, I think. I think I've done more videos then. Uh, especially in November, because I've definitely recorded some of them while fireworks are still uh, going on and all that. So, yeah. So I recorded the first one in August, uh, but released it in December. So that is definitely posthumous. Absolutely. Along with the others, obviously, because I've made them before December. I actually finished my Super, uh, my Super Smash Bros. Brawl videos in, like, early... Uh, November, believe it or not. And to make it even uh, slightly better, because uh, 10th of November is when something unfortunate happens. It's where it, it's the day when uh, one of my brother's girlfriends passed away, uh, unfortunately. So uh, I pretty much finished those videos before that day. Maybe not exactly before that day, but yeah. So uh, so so that's a, like a good example I could give for how early I finished those videos. Um, which it is kind of a sad day, to be fair, uh, uh, for my brother and all that. His girlfriend died from suicide and all that. Uh, too much to explain, but I mean, yeah, and all that. But I finished my videos before that day, so meaning I have, like, plenty of time to um, think of what my future projects could be for 2024. So... So even when my new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe videos were coming out, I still had I still had a lot of thinking on what I could do for the future. Uh, so it turns out, so my next playthrough, it, my first video for 2024 is going to be The Legend of Zelda from 1986, the original. And I am getting ready to start uh, Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link as well. Uh, and the whole reason this whole camera thing is in 4x3, if you notice right now, is because it's my screen setup for those two Zelda games, because I decided to make them 4x3. <coughs> Legitimately. Instead of, like, adding a border or having nothing. It's also because for phone users, if they want to watch it in portrait mode and not landscape mode, so then they can see more of the screen and not, like, worry about the black bars and all that, so... Things like that as well. Uh, and then on things like a TV, it won't really matter because you'll still get the black bars anyway, but, I mean, because of 4x3. But, yeah, that is why the screen's like this, because I'm ready to... Because I'm still getting ready to film uh, The Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, uh, from 1987. Um, and then my future projects after that would include, obviously, because I've got myself a 4K capture card, now, my Zelda playthroughs are not being recorded through this 4K capture card. It's still being recorded by the old one that my previous videos have been recorded in. Uh, but my Sonic videos will be played through Sonic Origins or Sonic Origins Plus on my Xbox Series X, uh, which I got for my birthday this year. Thank you, parents. And so that's how I'll be doing the original Sonic the Hedgehog games, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic the Hedgehog CD, and Sonic the Hedgehog 3, and Sonic and & Knuckles. And I'll probably do the Game Gear games on there as well, which is Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic Chaos, Sonic Triple Troubles, Sonic Drift, Sonic Drift 2, Sonic Labyrinth, Tails Sky Patrol, Tails Adventure, and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Oh yeah, and Sonic Spinball as well. I forgot about that. And Sonic Blast. I forgot about that as well. Oh boy, that's a lot of explaining. <laughs> ah, lovely tea. But yeah, that's what I kind of plan for um, uh, 2024, guys, the upcoming leap year. And don't ask how I know it's a leap year. Seriously, if you go on your calendar to 2024, go to February and check if there's a 29th day. And if there is, you got it! It is a it is a leap year, of course. So, uh, meaning twenty nine days in February and three hundred and sixty six days overall in a year instead of three six five. Yeah. So not just the Sonic. I, I might have other games planned as well. Maybe other Zelda installments like A Link to the Past. Maybe Link's Awakening. Uh, I definitely want to do Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask one day because those games are uh, brilliant on the N sixty four alone. And I might do one of my older games as well. I'm, 
I have been thinking that I could replay another series that I did in my child years, Pikmin 1 and 2. Because uh, I wish to replay them because they recently re-released them on the Switch. Uh, uh, Pikmin 1 and 2 HD. Uh, so, I feel like when I get that game, I could replay them on the Switch. Uh, and hopefully have better videos. I'll probably have long, uh, less and uh, less videos for Pikmin 2, but long... So longer videos for Pikmin 2, but less videos, less Pikmin 2 videos than like my, um, my child ones, which is like 40 videos or something, because Pikmin 2 is quite long, to be fair. Uh, so yeah, and I'll, I, and I'll try and do Pikmin 3 as well, because I've never done Pikmin 3 on this channel, and I've never played Pikmin 4 in my life either, and I've never even played Hey Pikmin in my life as well on 3DS. No surprise. And obviously I've never played Pikmin, Pikmin Bloom as well on iPhones and Androids. But yeah. I don't know if I'll do new games that came out in 2023 this year. Uh, in 2024. I could do Super Mario Bros. Wonder if I go through that game. But uh, I'll have to wait and see. We'll wait and see uh, about all that. Because 2024 will be... Probably a big year. It'll obviously be longer than this year because obviously it's a leap year, so can't argue with that. And um, the fact that there's probably going to be more shit to do, so yeah, uh, I'll probably um, I'll have to re I'll have to sadly release my best moments of 2023 compilation in 2024 because I am like far from finished from it, nowhere completion. As of this video, uh, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. It's going to have to be finished in like somewhere in 2024. I don't know when. I'll try early as possible, but if, if I get it finished in February, I could release it on the leap day. I don't know. But, yeah. Let's hope 2024 will be a better year. Like, not just for gamers. And our personal lives, but also for social media. Let's hope we get not as many apology videos. Let's hope we get better movies and games, which we probably will. Um, there are quite a few movies I'm excited for. The one I'm excited for the most is Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Um, waiting for that movie to come out in May, I believe. Uh, and also Sonic the Hedgehog 3. I bet everyone is definitely waiting for that um, in December. So, yeah. Does that mean it will be a Christmas movie? It can't be. Well, yeah. Waiting for a lot in 2024. Uh, because 2024 will hopefully be a great year. So, I'd say that will be it for this short video, guys. Uh, I thought I'd do a face reveal. This is what I look like. Well, w w with the bandana, at least. Um... The reason I decided to get this bandana is because I, would, I just want to be like John Rambo in my college. So, so yeah, that's why I wear this now. Uh, most of the time in college, but I mean... And it's because I look cool, so... Um, hopefully I, uh, hopefully I, I, I can uh, make better videos for 2024. I might need to get a better editing software. Because I don't know if converting videos with the default video editor would not make them 4K, because it seems like they only go up to 1080p. I don't know if they can support 4K or not. I'll try and get my videos 4K as possible, because even with the 4K capture card, I might only still be able to only record things up to 1080p. I don't know. I don't fully know that, but I mean, I'll have to wait and see. I'll try 4K as possible, but if it's still 1080p, I'm sorry. It's just because of my setups. Maybe I have to do more to get it do working, but I don't know. I'll see if I can get them. I'll try and get them 4K as possible, and I'll see if we can get better videos. I might do. I might do a bit of live streaming next year as well in 2024 as well. I don't know, uh, but my live stream thoughts I could do are games that I've already done. So I thought of doing a couple of Mega Man games again. Um, through live streams, uh, different versions of them. So with Mega Man 8, I could do the Sega Saturn version. Um, uh, same with Mega Man X3. I could do maybe PS1 or Saturn. I don't know. Um, uh, either of those versions. It don't matter. Uh, 
Maybe the Saturn version of X4, because that is slightly different than the PS1 version, but... I mean... Um, and I definitely thought of streaming every single Mega Man Zero installment through the, the DS collection, even though I've played through those games individually on the Legacy Collection, uh, the Mega Man Zero and ZX Legacy Collection. I thought I could live stream, like, maybe not just individually, but also as, like, all in one, so like through for the first game all the way to the fourth one, in one in one stream, uh, through the through the collections easy scenario mode. Uh, I thought of doing that as well. So then I'm playing through the collection basically. So in a live stream, my other live stream thoughts, aside from those Mega Man games, um, my other live stream thoughts were to go through a couple of RPGs because. As we all know, RPGs are quite long to finish, and a lot of reading is required. So, so if I get enough viewers in my channel and enough people comment and chat on my channels and all that, I could live stream a couple of RPG games. My first RPG thoughts were Pokemon games. Uh, specifically, I would go through Generation 1, so red, green, blue, and yellow, and then gold, silver, crystal, and then ruby, sapphire, emerald, etc., etc. I thought of like, uh, I'll, and I'll probably do like one of the be the better versions of those games. So if it's generation one, two, three, and four, I'll do like the updated versions. So those being yellow, uh, crystal, emerald, and platinum. Platinum being the updated version of diamond and pearl. And then for the generation five games and all that, so black and white onwards. Because they only have two versions and no third version, which is normally an updated version, I could put I could make a poll saying what version I should play. So for black and white, for example, I could go, should I play black version or should I play white version? And they go, oh, you play that version, and then I'll do it. So yeah, that's how it will work for those ones. Same with the remakes, like Fire Red and Leaf Green. I, I make a poll on that, they choose what version I should do, and then I'll do that one. So, yeah. Those are my first thoughts of uh, proper live streams uh, were the Pokemon games. Because uh, I did play through Generation 1 before, and I finished it. Uh, but with cheats, obviously. I've not done, like, legitimate playthrough. I've only, like, well, we're catching all Pokemon and all that because it's bullshit. I mean, still. But yeah, those are my plans for 2024 then, guys. So I'd say... It's, this has been a pleasure video, I'd say. A, a nice face reveal and all that. A nice cup of tie. And all of that. So, I shall see you guys in 2024 then. So, it is I, Jape About. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!